Welcome. In front of me is an Honor 200 Lite, and today I will show you how we can record screen on this phone. So, to begin, you want to swipe down from the top of your screen. Now make sure you swipe down from the right side as the left side gives you your notifications, the right side gives you the toggles. The toggles is what, is what we are looking for. And in here at the bottom, you will find a screen recording toggle. Now if it's not visible in the initial list, you can swipe down again and this will extend the list, giving you uh, more visible toggles. So anyway, once you see the screen recorder, simply press on it. Now, I do need to grant it some settings. I'm going to go to settings, permissions, and I'm assuming I need to allow microphone. I didn't really read up what it wanted, so let's see if that fixed it. And it did. Uh, now, uh, by default, when you enable it, I believe it just gives you the pop-up to allow it. And if you decide to reject that kind of uh, pop-up, uh, you then need to enable it through the app info like I just did. Anyway, so I'm going to select OK and this should begin recording. Now it does start recording with the microphone on, so I did toggle it off. And from here, you can open up any kind of application or record it. Now I'm going to open up two apps now. First, I'm just going to open up something like the Chrome browser. And second, I'm going to go to Netflix. So I want to show two sides of what can happen. Now keep in mind there is some bullshit pop-up right here. I will reject it. This is crucial to what I'm about to later on be talking about. So I did reject it. I am not signed in, therefore I have not agreed to any terms of service nor use. Uh, I rejected the pop-up and yeah, uh, here's some content that is visible right now to you on the screen. So I'm going to stop the recording. First, I'm going to close this. I'm going to stop the recording by clicking on the timer right there. And this will save my screen recording to the Photos application. So let's open that up. There we go, Photos. Now in here, you can navigate to the library section and you will find screenshots. And in screenshots, you should have your, there we go, screen recordings. So right now it's playing back and you can view it. Now what you will see is number one, Chrome, which was recorded and then Netflix, which was not. Now the reason I pointed out the fact that I haven't agreed to anything and all that stuff is because uh, right now you will see just a straight up black screen uh, on an application that comes pre-installed with a device. It completely blocks my ability to record it uh, without my deliberate uh, well, permission to do so because I have not logged in to the application which I have not agreed to terms of service nor use and nor have I agreed to the bullshit pop-up that was there. So for all I care this app should have zero ability to control the device because this is my device not Netflix's and yeah that's basically what you're gonna get a straight up black screen and the reason I'm pointing that out in this kind of way is because once you find such an app that does this there is no setting in Android that allows you to turn it off so you could record it uh, which I find to be a massive uh, intrusion to well usability of your own device so just wanted to point that out. Now there is a chance that maybe if you have like an unlocked uh, bootloader and stuff like that and the custom OS you could do this uh, but by default on obviously this device right now as it comes out of the, the store out of the box you have no such a uh, ability so there is no way for, for you to record applications that uh, decide to block it. Now that being said there are other applications than just Netflix that have a bit more reason to use this kind of feature so such an application would be for the most part bank applications and this feature is designed so for instance spyware cannot see into the apps because it would be using screen pinning to see the app record it capture it whatever it does uh, so bank applications would block this so does Netflix obviously uh, so if an application tries to do that it's gonna get just a straight up black screen um, as you can imagine, in this kind of scenario, this is a good option for you as it protects the user of the device uh, from having their personal data stolen uh, or information. Uh, but obviously, when it comes down to Netflix, where I haven't given any kind of permission whatsoever, it makes no sense and there should be an ability for us to just turn that off. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.